So I work right next to Blake's Lotta Burgers corporate headquarters. This is the one I'm gonna eat at. One of the things that I find charming about Blake's is the lack of drive-throughs. See, I'm just gonna drive around, park somewhere. Because there ain't no drive-through. Hold out there on the channel asking you guys which local fast food place I should try out. And uh, this was the overwhelming choice. So fast food places usually don't like it when you go in there and film. I turn off the camera, place my order, and I'll eat in the truck, review it with you guys. Sort of warehouse or something back there. Anyway, I've got my meal. And y'all, when you walk in there, they just throw the patties on the grill. You make your order, they throw the frozen patties on the grill. And you might think, that's not such a good thing, frozen patties. Here's the deal though, same price range as McDonald's, and they cook it right there. They're not pulling an old flabby patty out of a pool of grease. You know, McDonald's has those boxes of warm grease they leave their patties in. No, no, you'd be getting frozen meat anyway. They throw it on there, you have to wait while they cook it, and that's awesome. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Ooh, those fun little ketchup packets. Like they have at Chick-fil-A. Nice. And the comestibles. We got the fries. Looking good. You can see a little peel. And the burger itself. Oh. That's big. That's if I wanted extra meat. I said no, it was way expensive, but I think there are actually two patties on this thing. Anyway. Ponen la lechuga y bajo. Que locura. It's a handsome burger though. Oh yeah. Okay. I am definitely going to enjoy this. I can tell already. Okay, so let's do this thing. First of all, the burger. This is how it comes out of the paper. So it's like an overflowing type burger. I love that it's messy. All right. Oh. See the veggies are falling out. Onions are the best thing for a hamburger. Hmm. They are generous with the veggies. Okay, here we go. Some kind of Thousand Island type sauce. Mmm. Man. You can tell this just came off the grill. And it's not just a matter of temperature. Mmm. And the patties are slightly crispy. Cook at high temp. Look at all those veggies. Sorry about the light, guys. Yeah. Can't really see. Hmm. All right. So that is right up there with your Whataburgers. Yeah. Right up there. I think I might like it better than what a burger, but I'm gonna have to consider that carefully before I define myself. Dip to peel, peel to dip. Come on, dip. Mm, I'm the dip. It should be easier than this. You know what it is? I got my fingers greasy. Oh, there we go. All right. fry. Okay. We can see the peels of the potatoes on a lot of these fries. This particular batch kind of undersalted. 
These are good fries. They're quite soft. Slightly crispy edge. The very soft interior. They almost feel like reconstituted fries, but they've got these peels. The fries are okay. Okay plus. But nothing remarkable. This burger, though, is definitely something remarkable. Pickles, a bunch of shredded lettuce and tomatoes. And, you know, it just makes sense to me now that I see it. But they put the veggies on the bottom. And that works. Mm. This is the green chili burger. That was the first bite just now in the middle where I really tasted it. There it goes again. Yeah, it's nice, you know. It's not spicy. And I like my hamburgers to have lots of veggies. I want that crunch, I want that crisp, I want that cutting of the grease. And there's lots of everything in here. And the green chili definitely plays a role in cutting the grease in a positive way, where it contributes its own flavor. The meat still dominates, which is key. All right, dudes. This is my review of Blake's Lotta Burger. In the hot, hot sun. Summer has finally started. In the ABQ. My first summer. I'm looking forward to telling you guys all about that. Let me know. But typically, Burkendio Place, I should check out next. The peace of Christ be upon you.